What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Welcome to our McLaren showcase. I'm gonna move this a little bit out of the way here. Move these McLarens a little bit back. Make it look a little bit nicer. We've got a bunch of Hot Wheels McLarens to show you guys today. And uh, you can see there's a lot of doubles that I have down here. Those are just, just kind of for display purposes. But uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys um, every single McLaren Hot Wheels casting. Um, I have almost all the variations as well. I'll tell you about the ones that I am missing. And possibly if there's any others that I am missing that uh, you guys can tell me about, then help me out. But I'm pretty sure I've got most of them covered here. Um, smash that thumbs up, guys, if you're just joining in. Thank you so much for all the likes. I appreciate all the likes. Um, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm first gonna actually show you um, a custom. I usually don't do a lot of custom stuff or show you guys a lot of custom stuff, but I thought this one was worthy of showing you guys. McLaren F1 GTR, a custom one, and this one is a polished chrome variation. It's originally a black one, and this one was uh, sent to me by a subscriber in a polished chrome look. I really, really like it. I think it's super cool. And uh, yeah, so I thought I'd show you that. That's the only custom one that I have to show you today. Otherwise, all the other ones that we're gonna go over are all stock variations or prototypes. Prototypes, uh, speaking of prototypes, is what we're gonna go over right now. Uh, we'll start it off with, uh, we'll start it off with the F1 GTR, why not? So we'll go over all the F1 GTR stuff. So very first prototype that I have for the F1 GTR, I'll show you right here. And there we go. We have an unpainted, unrivet prototype. This is a very, very, very rare casting. Um, I mean, obviously, it's just a prototype, so it's completely unfinished. This was the prototype for the black color variation, this one right here. So there it is. That's the finished product, and that's your prototype variation for it. Uh, the reason why we can tell that is because it's the first one with the metal wing. Uh, the F1 GTR, for some reason, uh, all the original releases came out in plastic wings, then they came out with the black one with the metal wing, then they jumped back to the plastic wing, and then they jumped back to the metal wing. So I'll show you guys those different castings. We'll talk about that a little bit more in a second here. Uh, but there we go, F1 GTR, uh, unpainted, unfinished prototype variation, and all the prototype cars that I have, they all do come apart, as you can see. So they've got, what, four or five different pieces here, the tires and wheels and all that come apart. We're not gonna completely take it apart, but that's your body. I mean, here we can put that down. We'll show you the actual body here. Isn't that cool? It's pretty cool to have an unpainted variation. So you can actually take your Hot Wheels apart if you want, and you can kind of strip it down and make it Paint it, paint it whatever color you want. But again, I'm not big into custom stuff, I'm more into the stock cars. But there we go, F1 GTR, our prototype variation. That's the first prototype that I have of it. Uh, second prototype I have of it is your painted variation. And this one's got real rider uh, tires and wheels, which the prototype one did too. But uh, this one, it's uh, all just with that one. So kind of looks stock, nothing too special about that one. And then we got another prototype, which is a unrivet prototype as well. And this one is as close to stock as you can get. So it's pretty much a stock variation. Um, here we go, we'll show you the stock variation. So looks pretty good. The paint quality maybe not as good. You can see it's a little bit brighter of a paint job for the striping and stuff like that on that one, but uh, as close as you can get. So, uh, so those are the prototype variations I have for the F1 GTR. Now we'll get into the stock variations. Um, I, I have them kind of mixed up on my board here. Um, I will show you though, uh, my first, one of my favorite castings of all time and my favorite paints of all time is the F1 GTR, the red and yellow Nick Mason edition. So Nick Mason uh, in real life owned this actual ca car and Hot Wheels made the imitation of it. I love the wheels on it. I think it looks fantastic. Speed Machine series. So if you guys are wanting to know where all these came from, I can pretty much tell you where most of them came from. I might need some of your help for some of them though. But this one did come from the Speed Machines variation. And this is probably the most expensive casting that you can get. Um, as far as McLarens go, this casting sells anywhere for maybe 100 to 150, roughly on eBay if you can find it. Uh, but really, really cool casting. Love, love, love the color variation. And those wheels are just fantastic. They look great on it. Uh, next one is a F1 GTR, also uh, from the Speed Machine series. And again, these are all the plastic wing ones. The last one I showed you is plastic wing, this one's plastic wing. I'll show you once we get to the metal wings and why they switched, uh, but there we go. F1 GTR, great detail, 
The detail on the F1 GTR is just fantastic. And in case you guys don't already know, which I've said it a million times on my channel, the McLaren F1 is my favorite car of all time in real life. Very, very cool. I love it. Love it, love it. I wish they made the road-going variation in Hot Wheels. I'd love to see a road-going McLaren F1 being released. That would be pretty cool. But until then, the F1 GTR is a fantastic casting. So not going to deny. We love it. We love it. Uh, another Speed Machines variation. We got this one right here. And there we go. Very, very cool. I like this one. This one looks good. Speed Machines. And this is the one where there is a wheel variation. They have the faster than ever wheels on this one as a variation, and I don't have that one yet. So that's one of the McLarens that I'm missing that I know for sure. So faster than ever wheels on the Speed Machines F1 GTR. That's the only F1 variation that I know of that I'm missing, but there it is. It's a cool looking. So again, Speed Machines series. And lastly from the Speed Machine series, this is another one. So they made four, five different variations for the Hot Wheels Speed Machine series. This is the last one that they made. McLaren F1. Again, it's got the nice tan interior, kind of a copperish paint job. It's got the F1 logo on the side right there. And uh, the Faster Never wheels. Looks cool though, I like this one. Looks good. I'm more of a fan of the blue bluish type of ones. Uh, moving on to the next one we have is the Cars of the Decades one. Um, and I bought a lot of these when they came out just because, I mean, any McLarens I buy a lot of because I love them as you can see. These are all just doubles of the ones that I'm gonna show you, but I like having doubles of my McLarens because I race them and play with them and some of them I wanna keep me uh, mints and some of them I wanna keep playing in playing condition. So. There we go, Fashion. Uh, so the Cars of the Decades is where this one came from, Cars of the Decades series, which was probably about five-ish years ago or so that that one was released. So Cars of the Decades one, this one will run you around 25 to 40 bucks on eBay if you can find it. There should be quite a few of them on there. Uh, then what was our next release? Our next release was the Black F1 GTR, which was the comeback of the McLaren F1 uh, this was a 2017 N case, if I got that correct. 2017 N case release of the McLaren F1 GTR and the first of the metal rear wing. And so when the casting came back, I'm like, cool. They came back with it. It's got a metal rear wing. That's so awesome. I love it. Great. And we got that. And then we're like, okay, well, they're going to come out with another one. So they re-released. This is a mainline car, just so you know. Mainline this is probably the easiest one to find for the F1s. And then they came out with this one and they went back to the plastic wing, which I have no idea why they did that. And this one was in a Gran Turismo or Forza set. Gran Turismo or Forza set, I can't remember exactly. You guys can correct me in the comments, but they came back with it with the, the plastic wing, which I totally was confused about it. I have no idea why they came up back with it with a plastic wing. You can see the wing differences as well. This one looks like wider. This one's looks, the metal one looks a bit thinner. Um, but Grand Turismo, thank you very much. Yeah, so I just, I don't know. I don't know why they came out with the plastic wing again, but then I was like, okay, that sucks. But then all of a sudden, boom, they came out with it again. And it got the metal wing back in the white variation. And the white variation, um, came out in a Exotics 5-pack. So it was an Exotics 5-pack exclusive in the white. I love the red underneath, the red chrome wheels, which is really cool. How's it going, everyone? Thank you very much for joining in on the stream. Appreciate it. Smash that thumbs up, guys. If you like McLarens as much as I do, smash that thumbs up. I'm sure a lot of you guys do. Um, but there we go. We got the white one with the metal rear wing. So I was happy. I was like, great. Metal rear wing is back. Maybe they did it as a one-time thing uh, for kind of a, a baseline set series. And they're like, oh, we'll just reuse this old casting. So I'm like, cool, the metal rear wing is back. So we found out they're re-releasing a premium McLaren F1 in a premium set, the Golf McLaren F1. And I was like, sweet, it's a premium car. It should have the metal rear wing. Boom, they went back to the plastic rear wing. And yeah. I just, I don't get it. Premium car, the only ones with the real riders. And they went back to the plastic rear wing. So I don't know what uh, what Hot Wheels is doing. I, I don't understand it. Um, this one definitely feels a little bit heavier to metal base and all that, but uh, this one's cool. 
This one is really, really cool. Um, get yourselves your hands on the Golf livery McLaren F1 right now. I'm telling you guys, this one is going to shoot up in value in the future. People love golf cars. People love the McLaren F1. This is definitely going to be a valuable one in the future. Um, I'm, I'm not much for collecting as far as value goes. I just collect cars that I like, but I did buy probably about five of these just to put into my collection. I don't think I'll ever sell them, but I've got them just in case. But awesome, awesome casting. Love it. The tires, the wheels, uh, the, the paint job, the golf. I love the golf livery. I can live with the plastic wing. It's fine. It looks good still. The plastic wing actually does look really good. I mean, you don't really tell that it's plastic when you look at it, but still really, really cool. McLaren F1 GTR. So there you go. So those are the castings for it. We've got nine, I've got nine different color variations of the McLaren F1 GTR. Um, and then I'm missing the faster than ever wheeled ones from the uh, Speed Machine series. Okay, that's McLaren F1 GTRs. So let's go on to the P1 McLaren P1, in case you guys don't know, McLaren P1, it's my favorite of the uh, the holy trinity of cars. I love the P1, it's an amazing casting. Uh, amazing car in real life, amazing casting. The best thing about the McLaren P1 with Hot Wheels, which a lot of other manufacturers that made the McLaren P1, uh, as far as like little models and stuff like that, this is what I like best about Hot Wheels 1. They put it with the wing up in race mode. The, the P1 just looks so much better in race mode. So I love the fact that they came out with the P1 in the race mode. So it looks fantastic. I love the details from the front. Love the details on the back. Love the, obviously the wing up. And this is the burnt orange colored variation that they came out with. Looks good, looks good. Actually, you know what? We didn't put any, we didn't put a car down there. Let's put, let's put the golf livery one down there. Why not? the golf livery one down there. There we go. Uh, so there you go. McLaren P1 burnt orange. Um, I'm probably not going to do these in the exact order of release, but I'm going to try my best um, from what I can remember. Uh, the one after the burnt orange one was, I, nah, I'm probably not sure. I don't think it was, but yellow. Yellow is my favorite. I love yellow cars and I love the P1 in yellow. In real life, the McLaren P1 suits yellow the best. I just love it, love it, love it in yellow. There we go, McLaren P1 in yellow, race mode. So we got that one. Uh, then we had, I think it might've been the blue one that was released, the blue one with the chrome wheels. P1 in race mode, nice details on the back. Perfect, nice details on there as well. I know, isn't it awesome? Don't you guys love it? I like it, I like it, I like it. Uh, then we had, so after the blue, we had the silver, I believe it was. Again, I'm not, I'm not sure if my order's exact to what it should be, but there we go. We got the silver one. Silver always looks great for cars. McLaren P1 in silver in race mode. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. And then we might've had the then and now series one. So this one was a then and now series for this. So there's your... Here now and your then F1 GTR P1. So that was in the same series release. Uh, so then we had that one, which was kind of kind of the newish comeback of it, even though they never really stopped making the P1. They've always had the P1, um, but we haven't seen one recently, but there is one P1 coming out. At the end of this year, there is gonna be an exotic set coming out, which will have another variation of the P1, but there's already so many variations of the P1. Uh, then we'll jump to the Gran Turismo. Oh no, Forza Edition one, sorry, sorry. Ooh, no, no, don't get wrecked, don't get wrecked. Okay, there we go, Forza Edition uh, P1. You can see the Forza logo on there. Again, in race mode, a little bit more deco and stuff on there, which looks really cool. I'm liking it, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Um, and then we had a premium variation. Um, this one's got the real riders on there and it's got, uh, I love the wheels, and tires on there just blacked out. Even the back just looks really thick and nice. Um, this one is a, I can't remember the exact set that this one came, it might've been Cars and Donuts. It could've been Cars and Donuts. You guys can correct me if this is the one from Cars and Donuts, but there we go. P1, this is the Real Riders, the most premium variation of it. Uh, we'll jump to the Zamac edition one. Zamac P1, this one's really cool. This one's becoming a little bit more collectible. Uh, yes, it is Cars and Donuts, thank you. Uh, but this one is getting a little bit harder to find. If you guys can find this one on eBay right now for below 15 bucks, that's probably a good buy for it because I think this one will shoot up in value. It's a nice, nice casting. 
Nice casting, nice paint job on there for the Zamac edition. Uh, and then we get into the kind of newer, newer ones, which would be, I think the white one was released before. The white one. And this one, I think, was an exotics pack. Uh, there we go. McLaren P1 in white. White looks always good. McLarens in white look really, really good. I think they suit them really nicely. But there we go. Uh, what was someone saying? P1 order is orange, silver, blue, yellow, black, Forza, Cars and Donuts, white, green, Zamac. Oh, the Zamac is the newest one? Okay, interesting. Okay, we're slightly out of order then. So then we got, so we did the Zamac before the, the white and green, but there we go, green. There we go, that's a nice release as well. This is the newest release, and was this one this year? Was this, I can't remember if this was this year or last year. Um, I think it was last year, actually. Not 100% sure. But green one, which we're really excited for. I'm not usually a big green car fan, um, as much as my buddy Rival Racer is, but uh, I think the green looks great on the P1. I think it looks really, really good. And again, another P1 coming out. Um, in the future, in an exotics five pack, or it's uh, it's an exotic set. Maybe it might not necessarily be a five pack, but there is another re-release of the P1 coming out. So P1 colors, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we'll have our tenth one coming up this year. So there we go, P1s, P1s. Uh, let's go on to 720s, 720s, um, and you know what? I'll pick up. I'll pick up one from down below. I won't take it off the, the board there. Uh, these are all just the, again, just doubles. I've got one, two, three, four of these ones open up. Burnt Orange 720S. Uh, when this one came out, when it was announced, we were super excited for it. Um, I don't know why. You just don't really see a lot of, like, the normal McLarens being released. I mean, they had the F1 GTR. They had the P1. And then I was like, okay, maybe they'll just wait and do the Senna. But then they announced that they're doing the 720S. And I was like, yes, that's awesome. I'd love to see it because, I mean, they do pretty much every Lamborghini and almost they, they did every Ferrari back then. So it's nice to see that they're going to come out with more of the the, the quote unquote regular supercar ones of the McLaren. So maybe we'll see like a 600 LT or 675 LT or something like that. MP, MP4 12C, maybe one of those ones in the future. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, Burnt Orange, first release of the 720S. There it is. Um, no, you guys can't have my extras. I keep my extras. Sorry, uh, and we'll put that one down. And then the next release was the white one with the black wheels. I was really looking forward to this one. Um, I actually bought this one off some guy locally that somehow got it earlier before even I can get it in my case, uh, just because I couldn't wait. I was super excited to have it. So there we go, 720S, uh, white with the blacked out wheels, the chrome lip on there. I love white cars with black wheels. Again, you guys know that maybe if you guys have watched my videos, love it, think it looks fantastic. And then our latest release, which I've got one up here, is the purple 720S with the gray wheels. This one looks awesome. Um, I, I wasn't as excited about this one until I got it. Uh, once I got this one, I was like, wow, the purple on this, it it's just awesome. I don't I don't even know what to say. I can't, my, my, I'm lost for words on how nice this one is. Uh, the paint job looks fantastic. The wheels just suit it so well. Uh, but this one is just good. Um, Lantana Purple is what McLaren calls it. Um, a lot of uh, YouTubers are, are getting the Lantana Purple. Uh, was it uh, Vilka Virgins? And also, I believe it was um, Street Speed 717 ordered Lantana Purple 600 LTs. Um, they both have the 600 LTs, but the Lantana Purple 720S looks awesome. Uh, so there we go. Uh, there's your three castings for the 720S. And those who know, know that I am missing one. I am missing one. I'm missing the 720S in Zamac edition, which I'm trying to find it in stores. Um, I'm trying to get it before I resort to buying it on eBay. Um, so I'm going to wait probably another week or two to find out if I can get the 720S Zamac Edition. Um, and if I can't, I'll have it very soon. We'll have it to show you guys in the future. We'll do an unboxing of it whenever I do end up getting it. But there we go. So three plus the Zamac. There's four color variations of the 720S. And expect to see more. Expect to see more. I can, I can definitely see people love it. Uh, Hot Wheels is selling them. Usually cars that come out in Zamac are usually popular cars that they like. So expect to see another recolor or probably an exotics of the 720S. All right, that's 720S. 
Next, the last but not least, is McLaren Senna. And I have a McLaren Senna prototype variation of it. That's why I grabbed this one right here. Um, so it's a completely coming apart prototype variation. Uh, but this is a pretty much like, like ready prototype. Um, so I got this one. I showed you this one earlier. Uh, the Senna is great. I'm not, I, I wasn't really that big of a fan of this color variation that I released. I'm actually gonna grab the normal variation to show you now. So the prototype is just a one that's taken apart, but there we go. So it's kind of like a, like a grayish blue color. Some people call it gray, some people call it blue. It's kind of a mixture in between, uh, but it looks great. Um, I've done a Lamborghini showcase already. Check out my previous videos, whoever was asking there. Uh, but there it is, the McLaren Senna, the ode to Art and Senna, the real life race car driver that raced for McLaren and unfortunately passed away in an accident. Rest in peace, Art and Senna. But I think the Senna is great. I mean, the one thing, a lot of people don't like the looks of the Senna, which I agree, it's not the best looking McLaren. I mean, you, you compare it to like a P1, in my opinion, the P1 is a way better looking McLaren. But the Senna was made for function. It was made for aerodynamics. And in my opinion, this is the fastest car around the Nürburgring, which a lot of manufacturers base their cars on as far as speed and how, how fast they go. Uh, I get, I can, I, I would, I'm willing to bet money that the Senna is the fastest car around the Nürburgring. Will definitely knock off any Porsche, any Lamborghini, any of those that have claimed the record recently, but the, McLaren hasn't put the Senna around the Nürburgring. But uh, I agree, P1 looks better. Senna, functionality-wise though, it's a much faster track car. Um, so we got the Senna originally released in gray or blue, whatever you wanna call it. And then we got the orange, the proper McLaren orange release. And to my knowledge, this, looking back at all my cars, this is actually the only proper McLaren orange color release McLaren that Hot Wheels has ever made. There's been a couple of, look, this one was close, the, the Cars and Donuts one. That was pretty close, but I think for McLaren Orange, this is about as good as you're gonna get. So this is the, the newest released McLaren Senna in orange. And this one right now, you can find it in multi-packs. Um, or I did I, I think I did get one in one of my, yes, I did get one in the recent case as well. Uh, so we got it in uh, the, what was it? L-M-N, uh, the N case, I think it was. I think it was the N case we did get it. The recent case, we did get the Senna in orange as well, but if you can find it in multi-packs in store, it was released in multi-packs first. Uh, so a lot of the nine packs and 10 packs that you're seeing in stores right now, you can pick it up. I was at uh, Walmart yesterday and I saw one of these in a 10 pack. So if you can't find it in singles, then you can get it in multi-pack right now. Otherwise wait for end case cars to come out and you can find it in the end case. But there it is, McLaren Senna in orange. And I love this casting. I love the orange. Obviously we know, we, we've talked about this before. We wish that they kind of had painted the headlights, the headlights and stuff. The front is not finished. The back looks good though. The wing, nice and out and overexposed, looks really, really good. Looks fantastic. There we go. So we're gonna put the, we're gonna put the, the, the orange Senna on the spinster. We'll put this one back up here. And yeah, that's it guys. Any questions, comments, anything else you guys have questions for, you wanna see? Or are there any other McLarens that I'm missing? Uh, that's what I wanna know. I know I'm missing the Zamax 720S and I know I'm missing the faster than ever wheels McLaren F1 GTR. Uh, and I know that I am, there isn't uh, the P1 coming out. Uh, rival, no worries, man, that sucks. Glad you could join. Uh, I see another Senna. Yes, I, I, there's several Senna's here. What do I have? There's a Senna here, there's a Senna here. Uh, these, again, all these cars down below are just more doubles of the ones that you saw from up above. Uh, but the the original Senna ones I have open, I've got another orange Senna on my display case as well. Uh, but there we go, McLaren. Uh, when's the next live tournament? I'll have another one coming up um, this week, probably later this week. And that's gonna wrap it up, guys. McLarens, I know how much you guys wanted to see McLarens. Uh, would your favorite be a yellow Senna? No, I, I, I prefer the Senna in, I like the orange Senna, um, and I like the Senna in silver. I like the P1 in yellow. Uh, I like the 720S in the purple or the white. Uh, the F1, I like the F, McLaren F1 in real life in just the pure silver, um, but for the F1 GTR variations, I like the, the Nick Mason, red and yellow one. 
Uh, good questions, the guys. Good questions. Uh, why why name Senna? Art and Senna. Look it up. That's what they named it after. Uh, you've got a close short card Senna. Nice. Uh, when are they going to make the McLaren Formula One car? There is a McLaren Formula One car uh, that they previously made. They used to make F1 cars previously. How many P1s do I have? Um, I have all the color variations of the P1, and then I've got doubles of them. So, I don't know. Quite a few. Uh, what's your favorite casting the F1? This is the fa my favorite F1. The, the red and yellow Nick Mason edition from the faster or from the Speed Machine series. That's my favorite one. There we go. Uh, lots more showcases coming up though, guys. Um, if you guys want to see any specific co uh, showcases, comment down below in the video uh, once it's uploaded live. Uh, and that's it. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.